The FASB defines fair value as the price received to sell an asset or paid to transfer a liability in an orderly transaction, between market participants on a certain date, typically for use on financial statements over time. Fair value accounting is a process of measuring the assets and liabilities, that are listed on the company's books in a mark-to-mark -mark valuation. The principle of valuation was implemented by the FASB, to standardize the calculation of financial instruments by looking at their historical cost. FASB ASC 820 is an accounting standard established by the Financial Accounting Standards Board FASB, that defines the fair value, establishes a framework for measuring it and expands disclosures about fair value measurements. It's an important standard for accounting professionals to understand from every aspect. The entities evaluate and report the value of assets, and liabilities on their actual or estimated fair market prices, basis using fair value accounting. Changes in these values over time exhibits unrealized gains, or losses for the assets and liabilities, affecting net income and equity in the balance sheet. There are few concepts which are part of fair value accounting. Current market conditions. Fair value should be evaluated based on market conditions, on the measurement date rather than a historical transaction that occurred on some other date. Intention. The fair value changes with the intentions of the holder of the asset or liability. If a holder wants to sell an asset immediately, it could lead to a lower sale price of that asset. Orderly transaction Fair value to be measured based on orderly transaction, where the asset or liability is revealed to market, before measuring date, for the market participants to gain sufficient knowledge and information about the asset or liability. Which means that there is no undue pressure for selling or liquidation. Third party. Derivation of fair value based on assumption, that the asset is sold to an entity which is not related to the seller. The purpose of fair value accounting. Historical details of an asset or a liability, fails to provide an up-to-date information. The purpose of fair value accounting is to present transparency, objectivity, and relevancy to the annual balance sheet. Whereas, the biggest advantage of fair value is that it provides a clear, and up-to-date evaluation of assets and liabilities. Measuring Fair Value FASB ASC 820, defines fair value as, the price that would be received to sell an asset, or paid to transfer a liability in an orderly transaction between market participants at the measurement date. ASC 820 highlights the use of market inputs, in estimating the fair value for an asset or liability. The ideal determination of fair value is based on prices, offered in an active market. An active market, is a market where there is adequately high number of transactions, in routine, many buyers and seller trading, to provide updated pricing information. However, Sometimes an active market does not exist to estimate the fair value on an asset or liability, so other methods have to be used. The assumptions used to evaluate the fair value should be from the perspective of a third party, which is not associated with the seller. If more than one market is available for evaluating the fair value, ASC 820 requires the use of most advantageous market. There are three levels of inputs, SFAS 157, for determining the fair value of an asset or liability. The three levels hierarchy is elaborated below. Level 1, Quoted Prices. Information in this level is based on direct observation of transactions, involving the similar assets or liabilities being valued offering superior reliability. It is a must for the reporting entity to have access to that market, and the quoted price in an active market for identical assets or liabilities should be used. If a quoted market price is not available, 
like in many cases, the fair value should be estimated by using sufficient information, available in the circumstances. It would then be categorized in Level 2 or Level 3. Level 2, Market Observables To deal with the shortage of date, in case the active market for identical assets, or liabilities are uncommon, or cannot provide sufficient data, FBSC approved second level of inputs, that can be applied in situations where there is less active markets for identical assets and liabilities. Owned assets and liabilities are similar to, but not the same as, those traded in a market. No active or less active markets exist for similar assets and liabilities. Level 3 Unobservable FASB set out Level 3 as unobservable inputs for assets and liabilities, where there is no sufficient information available to evaluate fair value, and an entity includes its internal information that is available. FASB in FAS 133, clarified that all companies are required to measure all assets, and liabilities on their balance sheet at fair value. Market Approach It is the method of determining the fair value of an asset or a liability, based on prices of the similar asset in actual market. Because the market approach relies on comparisons to similar assets, it is most useful when there is substantial data available regarding recent sales of comparable assets. Income Approach The income approach estimates fair value of an asset, by calculating present value of future cash flows that an asset is going to generate over its lifetime. The cash flows are discounted to the measurement date at a rate of return, that is required to compensate for the risk associated with receipt of the future cash flows. Cost Approach The cost approach involves two approaches to determining fair value. Cost of Reproduction, Cost of Replacement the reproduction cost method estimates fair value, from combination of all costs necessary to reproduce an asset. The replacement cost is the amount required to replace the current asset, at current market price with a similar asset. Advantages of Fair Value Accounting Fair Value Accounting, measures the actual or estimated value of an asset. It is one of the most commonly used financial accounting methods because of its advantages, including Valuation Accuracy Fair value accounting provides accurate valuation of an asset, or liability to users of an entity's reported financial information, from time to time, reflecting current value of the asset of liability. Avoids Disputes it avoids dispute or among participants entering the transaction regarding the price of the asset, and transparency is ensured. True Income Using fair value accounting, gains or losses from any price change for an asset or liability are reported in the period in which they occur, hence limiting entity's ability to potentially manipulate its reported net income. Disadvantages Market Fluctuations the economic market does not remain constant, due to which price of the asset also changes very frequently, which is not beneficial for parties in adverse conditions. Reduces book value. The original price of the asset is ignored while adopting fair value accounting, but sometimes the traditional values also have significance. <laughs>